SARS coronavirus was identified in 2019. SARS stands for Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome. In humans, the virus enters the body and makes its way to the lungs. In the lungs, the virus multiplies and elicits an acute immune response. In a small percentage of COVID patients, this immune response causes pneumonia. And in the most severe cases of COVID pneumonia, life support is required. The treatments for COVID include life support and critical care. The critical care is applied to increase oxygen levels in the body. It involves both the intubation and mechanical ventilation of the patient. There's also the systemic administration of drugs to treat COVID patients. There are several FDA approved drugs in clinical trials right now, including remdesivir, plaquenil, chloroquine, caletra, and interferon beta. Intravenous systemic administration of drugs involves drug molecules that are delivered into the veins by direct intravenous injection. The drugs travel in the bloodstream, reaching the lungs and proceeding to the rest of the body through the arterial circulation. Sometimes the drug dose is not sufficient to kill the virus or alleviate the pneumonia. Increasing the systemic dose, however, can cause severe side effects and even death. So we are developing a targeted administration of drugs to treat COVID patients. Our approach involves drug molecules that are delivered locally to the lungs by microscopic gel carriers or gel microcarriers. The gel microcarriers are injected directly into the vein and travel in the bloodstream, reaching the lungs and getting lodged in the vasculature of the lungs because of their size, which is about 30 micrometers in diameter. The gels begin to degrade in the lungs to locally release the drugs. These gels also allow us to increase the dose to the lungs without unwanted systemic side effects. Inside the lungs, the alveoli facilitate gas exchange with the flowing blood in the lung capillaries. But the virus is multiplying rapidly and eliciting an immune response that hampers this gas exchange. The microscopic gels carrying the drug enter a very small proportion of capillaries in the lungs and temporarily obstruct these vessels in order to release their drug payload. Obstruction occurs in only about 0.5% of capillaries in the lungs, thereby ensuring gas exchange continues. Once the gel degrades, the drug is released and this can help eliminate most of the virus from the lungs. Here are a couple of images of the microgels used for the targeted administration of the drugs to the lungs. For more information on drug microgels to treat COVID, please contact me in my laboratory at the Technion.